This episode is going to be a little different. Usually I'm talking about races and bike parts and trying to go faster. Uh, today I'm talking about the consequences of all that and that is an injury that has been a recurring problem for me, uh, tennis elbow, uh, dirt bike elbow, whatever you want to call it. It's a repetitive strain injury that affects your tendons and you know, despite all the injuries I've been through over the past couple of years, breaking my leg in Erzberg, the knee surgery after the corduroy, um, tearing, having an AC3 tear, uh, all of those suck. You know, it's uh, cumulative injuries and my age at 46 doesn't help. But the one that really drives me crazy is tennis elbow because it gets to the point near the end of the season where I find it almost impossible to ride. I can't even pick up a glass of water by the time September rolls around. And I've tried different things, um, and I'm gonna show you a few of those things. So you can see here I've got uh, on this bench, uh, on the stool here, uh, a few things I've been trying. Uh, the first here is this Bandit. Uh, this is you know your typical kind of thing that you'd find to treat um, tennis elbow. And it kind of goes on like so, wraps around. And I find this to be pretty good for day-to-day -day use. The one thing I don't like about this one is it digs in a little bit here, so it's better to wear with a long sleeve shirt or something underneath. It, it, is, it does work though, and a lot of people swear by this particular model, and um, it's not very expensive, maybe 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. And for your day-to-day, -day, if it's bothering you, um, I, I would recommend this. It, it, it does help, you maybe for working out, um, stuff like that. The problem with this one for racing is going to catch on a jersey, and it's hard. And I don't really like that feeling because it, it doesn't have a lot of flexibility. And so when you're trying to do those finer tuned uh, movements with your arm, um, it's not ideal. So good for some things, not great for others. The other thing I been using especially when I've been training is uh, this arm sleeve and I like this it doesn't do a lot but it does do something um, it definitely helps and the nice thing about this is you can throw them on um, and you don't really notice it once it on it maybe give you some additional protection as well uh, some abrasion protection and this is what I'm going to be racing with all season uh, is one of these. I'll probably wear it on both just to have some symmetry. Anyway, the point of this video is to show you the latest thing I've discovered, and that is voodoo flossing. So thanks to uh, Rob, my buddy Rob of Moto Valley Enduro. You should check out uh, his channel. Um, Rob... Um, uh, He's very well versed in fitness um, due to his profession. Uh, he's with the military and with that comes access to a lot of high-end trainers and trainers who really know how to deal with these repetitive strain injuries. And what he recommended to me is Voodoo Floss. And I, and I don't know if you've ever heard of it before, but I'd never heard of it until I started doing it. And it's these Voodoo Floss bands that you can pick up um, for about 50 bucks, this one is by Rogue Fitness, so it's a better one. You can see it's quite stretchy. And what you're essentially doing is wrapping the injured area, in my case, the tennis elbow, uh, as tightly as you can and letting that compression compress those muscles and try and drive out the knots and get that circulation going. Because once it's pressed down and uh, when the blood starts to flow again, then you're going to get a lot of new blood coming in and trying to get that flow back and forth. So it's not something you're going to be able to do once and everything's going to be okay. But um, I found that uh, after doing this over the past couple weeks, it has helped a lot. And it may be due to other things. It may be due with, with the exercise I've been doing, um, whatever. As long as something works, I'm not going to, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I do think that this has played a large part in that. And if you look at some of the other YouTube videos out there, I think you'll find the same thing. So let me show you what it is. So basically you take your, your Voodoo um, flossing band, a big elastic band. And what I do, I take a bit of a longer strap like this, and then I take it, and then I just kind of crisscross and start wrapping like so. And the key is, is start pulling it very tight. So it is going to be uncomfortable. Um, and you're going to start 
losing circulation. It isn't so bad, you know, as Rob was saying, it isn't, it isn't like tourniquet tight, but it is pretty darn tight. And you're going to see that, whoops, you're gonna see that you may even notice discoloration um, and some circulation being cut off. Now, I, I should caution everybody, I'm not a physiotherapist. Um, if someone else knows how to do this better than me, by all means, put it in the comments below. But you can see here, I wrap it like so. And once it's nice and tight, um, then you can just kind of tuck this in under so it's out of the way, or you can even hold it. Because here's the key, you don't want to be doing this for long. What it does is it's compressing everything. And I usually only use it for maybe two minutes tops. And it's, it's just this feeling of being very tight around the, the air, area that's injured. And then what I'm gonna show you is additional exercise here that I've done that definitely helps uh, a lot in trying to work out those, um, those injured areas by, by compressing uh, the, agitated, the agitated ligaments and, and everything that's causing you discomfort. So let me show you that now, what I do with rolling this. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. Um, the injured area is right about here. Uh, that's where the ligament is. And if you're trying to um, fix that, an additional thing you can do, what you should do, is try and get the blood flowing through there. And you can do it by pressing, you can do it by twisting. It's kind of like a Theragun where you're, you're, you're getting those muscle fibers and moving them around and breaking it up so that when all of this tension is released, you're gonna have new blood flow coming in. And one thing that I found really helps is rolling it. Um, so here I'm using this stool like this. I hope you're getting this. And I just kind of roll it. And this, this is actually painful. Um, so do it within tolerance levels. But you're just kind of rolling it like this. And I find that really starts to break things up. And then between the combination of the tight flossing and this rolling. Once you've done this a few times, it really loosens up those ligaments and does seem to help. All right, another thing you can do is you can take your, your wrist like so once it's wrapped and you can start moving it around like this. Again, the whole point is just to try and get some circulation going and some tension and trying to break up that area that has been damaged, that's been injured, just try and move it around. I don't think, I'm sure there's some ways that are more ideal than others, but I think fundamentally it's just getting that movement so you can also flex your wrist like this. That's another way to get that tension. I'm always trying to aim for tension right here where my tennis elbow injury is. And the more I do that, the better it seems to help. Okay, so there you have it. There's voodoo flossing. And I think if you give it a go, if you're suffering like I was with a tennis elbow and how it's affecting your riding, I highly recommend it. It's certainly worth a try. It's worth a $40, $50 investment. Give that a shot for a couple of weeks and, and see if it helps because those of you who've had it knows how debilitating it is to your riding. And uh, it's working for me, so I hope it works for you.